You heard the ladies pick a dress. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, Teresa, this is amazing. Oh, you Whitney, this has to be a dream. <laughs> Teresa, you are going to have some life. This is wonderful. But really, the only wonderful thing is Ethan. He is the most wonderful thing in my life. So have you seen Teresa today? No, but I'm going to her house in a little while. You know, I can't wait for you to really get to know Teresa, Sheridan. I, I know you're going to love her as much as I do. I'm sure I will. If she's anything like her brother. Yeah, I think they're a lot of like <laughs> temper and all. <laughs> now, how boring would that be if no one had a temper? <laughs> Come in. What? It's a mess out there. Yes, it is. So what on earth possessed you to walk all the way over here from the main house? I came to see if you would come to your senses. You too, Ethan. Come to our senses about what? Uh, surely you both realize by now you're, you, you're going through a phase. You're dating the housekeeper's children to prove you're not snobs. We are not going through a phase, Julian. We're not two-year-olds. No. Look, I love Teresa, Sheridan loves Luis, and there's nothing you can do to keep us apart. That's a pity. I feel sorry for the both of you. You, you. you don't know what you're facing marrying out of your class. Father, get over it. Believe me, I'll try, but I've been out there in the real world. You have no idea how cruel people can be. Are you saying that we're gonna be victims of discrimination just because of the people we choose to love? Well, certainly, wake up, Sheridan. You know I'm right, Ethan. Look, you may be. That doesn't change anything. I suppose it wouldn't do any good to play on your sympathy for your old man, tell you you're breaking his heart. What heart? Don't be snide, Sheriff. Father, I'm sorry you're having a hard time accepting my being in love with Teresa. Well, I am. I, I, I wanted you to marry Gwen. She's perfect for you. Yes, but I love Teresa more. And you, Sheriff. How can you lower yourself to be with a man like Luis? He's a public servant, for God's sake. You could have any man in the world. But I want Luis. <sighs> Father, Sheridan and I are happy. Isn't that what you want for us? To be happy? There's, there's nothing I can say to convince you. No. Nothing. Well, I suppose all that's left is congratulations. I hope you'll both be very happy. And a pig's ear. Enjoy your happiness now. Father will never allow either of these relationships to happen. Ever. What's the matter, sleeping beauty? Having a bad dream? Seems so real. You're part of my dream, I hope. No, sorry. I'm real as dirt. <laughs> like my new outfit? As for you, you better pull yourself together, and I mean pronto. We haven't got much time. Now then, we have got to get Miguel away from charity, even if it takes surgery. His love creates a protective shield around her that even I cannot dent. And the longer it takes to destroy her, the stronger her powers become. Hmm. Which spells trouble for poor old Hecuba. I still don't get how you think Charity has powers. She has the powers of goodness. She doesn't know that she has those powers. Stronger her love for Miguel grows, the stronger her powers become. And that spells the end for our side. We were warned about her. Yes, we were told about her hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And now the time has come. What are you talking about? The, the time for what? The battle between good and evil. And this time I'm determined that evil is going to win. How about the 
Teresa, Mama. Luis. Oh, that's beautiful, Teresa. <laughs> so did Mama tell you that Paloma and Aunt Maria are coming for the wedding? Really? Oh, Mama, then Paloma can be in my wedding. Oh, that makes everything perfect. <laughs> oh, Teresa, if only your father and Antonio could be here, too. I always dreamed that somehow Papa would come home for my wedding day. But I'm so happy that, that you're walking me down the aisle, Luis. <laughs> yeah. I just wish Papa could be here. Well, maybe he will. The announcement about our wedding will be in the newspapers, and maybe Papa will see it, and he will come home. Teresa, <gasps> as much as I would love for your father to come home, we still don't know what's keeping him away. Well, I, I'm sure that if Papa knew you were getting married, that uh, he'd come. Nothing meant more to your father than family. <laughs> I know, Mama. Teresa, Teresa, the girls have another perfect dress that you have to try on. Okay. okay. I'll be back. Goodbye. You know, I still think Alistair and Julian know more than they're telling us about Papa's disappearance. I would believe almost anything of those two. Yeah. Well, I'm just glad Sheridan realized that her nightmares about that night didn't have anything to do with Papa. Well, if they had, if she'd have killed him. There's no chance we could have been in love. I believe you're right. Well, there's no point in thinking about it now. She definitely didn't have anything to do with whatever happened to Papa. No, Sheridan, I, I hope you're not overdoing it. Oh, I feel fine, Ethan. I'm just trying to get my strength back. I have every reason to get back to my old self. You know, who would have believed that this would be happening to either one of us a few months ago? A few months ago? I would have called you crazy. <laughs> After my hypnosis session with Dr. Russell, she helped me realize that my nightmares were just stemming from the guilt I felt over my mother's death. You know, I only thought that I had killed Luis's father because he disappeared around the same time my nightmares started. So, your nightmares are gone now? Yeah. I haven't had any bad dreams in months. Good. I never believed you killed anyone. I know. I'm just relieved that it's all behind me. If I had killed Luis's father, we wouldn't be the way that we are now. I can't imagine my life without Luis. I'm surprised Ivy hasn't been down to check on the party preparations. Well, why should she? I'm footing the bill for this bash. Besides, I want her to be as relaxed and confident as possible when the bomb drops. Ah, uh, I can just see her face when Julian just throws her out of here forever. <laughs> then I just have to convince Julian that he can't live without me. Then Alistair reinstates him as his heir, and then he can adopt Ethan. And by then, Teresa will have dumped Ethan because he's no longer rich, and I'll be there to comfort him. Sounds like a perfect plan, if I do say so myself. <gasps> This look best. Oh, well, I hope you're pleased. I want things to look wonderful tonight. What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be on my side helping me break up Ethan and Teresa. Why are you throwing this party? You're right, Julian. You deserve an explanation. Yes, Rebecca. 